Hello everyone. Today we are going to be making an Emma Wiggles inspired hair bow. This is for my friend's little girl. She absolutely loved Emma Wiggles and I actually had to Google who it was because I weren't sure. Now these are copyright bows so I do not recommend that you make these to sell but you can make them for your own personal use or if you know as a gift that is absolutely fine and I am making these two for a gift today so I'm going to show you how to make two of these bows one I am going to do as a no sew version and the other one I'm going to make as a sew version so if you're someone who's not keen on sewing then you can make a no sew version it's completely up to you I've got a couple of clips to the side and I've also got my pins here ready and for the sewn version I've got my needle with double strength thread knotted at the end I've also got a lighter and to heat seal all of the ends of our ribbons I am using four centimeter wide ribbon or one and a half inch and the black piece for the top is cut to 17 centimeters in length or six and a half inches in length and that is for the top piece so it's one piece at 16 centimeters and then two pieces also four centimeters wide or one and a half inch wide and the two pieces are cut to 21 centimeters in length and that is two pieces so you need three pieces all together so for the no sew version first of all i'm going to heat seal all of the ends of my ribbon And then you need to fold your ribbon in half to find the centre. As you can see, I have already done that because I started making them off the camera. And then I thought, oh, I'll have to do a tutorial for this one. So that is why I've already actually done that part. So find the centres of your ribbon, which I've done on these two. And also the black piece. I just like to use a little bit of heat from the lighter so we can see that crease in there. Next, take in one of your yellow pieces of ribbon. You want to join the ends to form a loop. So I'm just going to place a piece of thin hot glue and bring those two ends together. I'm overlapping it by around a half a centimetre now normally I'd use um, an all-purpose adhesive for this if I was sewing because it's quite hard to sew through hot glue but as we're doing this without sewing I'm happy to use the hot glue so now I've just put a bit of glue across that crease and I've joined or flattened the loop should I say so I've joined the crease to where the ribbon is overlapping I'm going to do the same again on this half so again I'm going to form a loop overlapping it by around a half a centimetre and then I'm going to place some glue just along the inside of the loop along the crease and then bring that join to meet that crease so you've got two pieces like this now and now we're going to form our pinch I'm going to do two peaks or two pinches so you want to go down in the middle first so you're folding it upwards the two sides in half and then you want to fold this half back down. So I put my thumb in the middle where we've just folded it up. I pop my thumb in the middle, bring this side up and then fold it back down. And then do the same with the other side. So I'm kind of folding the other side back up towards the center and then fold that outside down. So you've got your double pinch there in the middle that's formed that tux bow shape and then I'm just going to take a piece of thread 
and I'm going to hold this in place by placing the thread around that center and I'm going to wrap it around a few times and just tie that off. Just gonna tie that in a double knot to make sure that don't go anywhere. So that is one half of the bottom tucks bow done. I'm just going to give that a little wiggle over because sometimes when you do it freehand that cotton can slip and slide. But you can just give it a little wiggle over. If you turn it back over and find that has slipped, just give it a little wiggle until you're happy that that is nice and central like that. I'm going to do the same with the other half, so pushing it down in the centre. And at the same time, I'm bringing this piece up to fold and down and then bring the other side up. And down and just fold them loops downwards like that. And then you've got your other side pinched again, grabbing a piece of thread. We're just going to wrap that around the center. And again, tie in a double knot to hold it in place. And trim off the excess thread. So then you've got your two halves of your bottom bow made. And now we can join these two halves together. So I'm just going to fold this back a little bit, place some glue in that center and pop these two halves together. I'm just gonna hold them there, making sure that they're nice and straight. So that is now a double tux bow ready for the bottom half and now we're going to repeat those steps with this piece. And that is the tux bow for the top layer. So now we're going to lay this on the top. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and place some hot glue in the center and lay it over the top of those double tux bows. So that is how to do the no sew version. Before I completely finish this one off, I'm going to show you how to do the sewn version. So we start off the same, we heat seal the ends and we find the centers and make a crease. We'll do that now. So there we have our centers folded and we have our ends all heat sealed. Next, I've got my pins ready here. We're going to basically do the same as we did with this one, but because we're sewing it, we're going to pin it into place. So I'm going to just slightly overlap the center by around half a centimeter. Bring the other side in, and again, overlap the center by around a half a centimeter, making sure the crease is central and the sides are all in line. I'm just gonna grab a pin pin that in place 
and I've pinned it in place right across the bottom of this edge here because when I sew I'm going to sew halfway between where these overlap and I don't want my pin to be in the way so that's one piece ready pinned and then grabbing another pin and our second yellow piece the same thing again overlap the center by around a half a centimeter you see that so this is the center overlap it so there's half a centimeter overhanging bring the other half over overlap it a half a centimeter so there is about a centimeter overlap all together with that crease directly down the middle of where these two overlap and once you're happy that they are all in line and straight again grabbing another pin and just pinning those into place and at this point you can then just check that they're the same which they are now we're going to do the same with our smaller black piece make sure that's the same as my other bow yep yeah, because once that's pinched that will bring it in a little bit so that's all three pieces now pinned and now I'm going to flip them over so that my raw edges are at the bottom and the creases are at the top and now we can sew in our pinch so I've got my needle double strength thread knotted at the end and I can still see that crease in there that I made I'm going to sew right across this center four stitches because I want it to, to match this one because these are actually going to be a pair for my friend's little girl so beginning by going in through the first side for the first stitch one about a centimeter along for two another centimeter along for the fourth stitch uh, sorry third stitch then out through the end for the fourth stitch so you've got one two three four and then I'm going to just remove this pin grab a nice second piece continuing with the same piece of thread we're going to do the same again so in for one two three back out through the last edge for four again removing that pin and then when you pull it tight that will bring both halves together and then when you pull it really tight that will form that pinch now hold on I just need to flip this piece over because it's upside down Make sure they're both the correct way up before you pull the pinch in. And just pull that tight to form that pinch and bring them together. And then I'm just going to wrap that around a couple of times. Pull it tight and then seal it off on this underside. I'm just going to go in through the bottom like that. And then on this second go in, I'm not going to pull it completely tight. I'm going to go in through this loop before I pull it tight a couple of times and that will form a knot and hold it all in place. So that is the bottom tucks bow complete. I'm just going to trim off this tail of thread. Be careful not to cut my ribbon. just going to pop the knot in the bottom of there so I can use it for my black piece so we're going to do the same now with the black piece so the raw edge is at the bottom the creased part is at the top the crease that we made for the center again four stitches so in for one two three and back out 
the end before and then I'm just going to pull this through and then remove this pin and again I'm going to pull this tight wrap around the center a few times and then just re-thread my needle because it came out and then again I'm going to knot it off on the underside I'm going to go in a couple of times I'm just going to go in once and then on the second go I'm going to go in through this loop before I pull it tight to form a knot and then pull it tight trim off the excess thread to both ends And that is the top layer and then again we can add this to our base bow and there are the two versions together before we wrap the center so as you can see I do think that the sewn version is slightly more neater and even than the non sewn version but just to show you that it is doable you can free hand bows without having to sew them if you want to. So now we can add our clips and our centre. So I'm going to use these 45 millimetre double prong clips because these are the ones that I quite like and hopefully my friend will like them too. And then just grabbing my 10 millimetre or one centimetre wide Row grain ribbon in black to match my bow and Emma Wiggles she has a black center on her bow so I'm trying to get the same kind of look so I'm just going to heat seal one end and I'm just going to line my clip so I'm just going to pop some glue around a couple of inches along one end on the underside of my clip I'm going to place one end of my ribbon push it into the pinch part and then from here I can see how long I need to trim off. So about here, heat seal that raw end. Then I'm not going to bother putting any glue here because we've got a gap in the clip. Just putting glue on this end will bring both sides together as I wrap it under that clip there like that. So that is a lined clip. That is optional, you don't have to do so that. So now we can add these to the bottom of our bows. And then again, using the black for the center, I'm just going to heat seal that raw, raw edge. Pop a bit of glue on the end. Stick it in the center of the clip underneath. Central to the hair bow. And then I'm going to start wrapping around the center. On the first go around, I like to get a tight pull on there place a little bit of glue over that top piece of cotton and that will just ensure that that will keep covered and in place and then trim off the excess stick that last piece down one of the bows done. I can't actually remember if that's the sewn or the no sewn. That was the no sew one. So that's the no sew one. And now we'll complete the sewn one. And there are your finished Emma Wiggles inspired hair bow in a no sew version and a sewn version. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell button to turn on notifications. Thanks for watching everyone. Bye bye.